Okay, so you got a turntable, a receiver, and some awesome records, but you're still missing a good pair of speakers. Well, I think I might just have what you're looking for. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Fluence Signature Series bookshelf speakers, which could be a great complement to your system. Now, let's just say that this is your very first vinyl setup and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on some super high-end floor standing loudspeakers. Basically, all you want to get started is a quality pair of speakers that are gonna get the job done. Well, these might be a good option, so let's take a look at them. All right, so here they are, and as you can see, they have a beautiful glossy piano black finish on the front with some really cool looking five inch yellow woofers. So those are the first things that you're gonna notice about these speakers. They do look very classy. Now above the woofers, they also have one inch neodymium tweeters and they also come with some really cool speaker grills with magnets built inside them so you can easily snap them on or snap them off. Now, if we flip them around, we see that they have these simple red and black connections on the back, which indicates that these are passive speakers. So basically, these speakers can be powered with either an amplifier or a receiver, and they can handle anything from 30 watts to 120 watts. Now, when you're hooking up these speakers to the rest of your vinyl setup, I've found that either 16 gauge or 18 gauge speaker wire works best. So when you're doing that, just make sure that you have your wires in the right place. Red is for positive and black is for negative. Okay, so now that everything's hooked up, the biggest question of all is, how do they actually sound? Well, after testing them out with lots of different types of music on several different formats, including vinyl, CD, cassette, and even my phone, I would say that they sounded pretty good. However, that being said, in order for these speakers to truly shine, you have to kind of break them in. And what do I mean by that? Well, basically when you buy a new pair of speakers or headphones, you should play a lot of music through them and their sound is gonna improve as time goes by. Now, at first I thought this whole break-in thing was a myth, but it does actually make sense if you think about it. Basically, when you play your music a little louder, the woofers in your speakers are gonna get a real workout. And that simple action of them moving forwards and backwards is gonna help loosen them up, it's gonna improve their response time, and it's gonna make their sound even better. So ultimately, speakers are kinda of like baseball gloves. You gotta break them in, and after I did that with these speakers, their sound definitely improved. Now, that being said, because these speakers are in the $200 price point, don't expect miracles. Basically, these are not gonna sound the same as those high-end floor-standing loudspeakers, because that's not what these speakers were made for. However, considering their low price, their accuracy, and their lack of distortion, I'd say these are great speakers for getting started with your vinyl setups. And of course, if you want to upgrade them down the road, you totally have that option. So if you want to check them out for yourself, I'll put their link in the video description down below. And if you love music like I do, join the vinyl army and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Also be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All of my social media links are in the video description down below. And most importantly guys, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl.